Robert Cousins was the uh, superintendent of public education in Texas. Uh, I believe he got his position in 1904. And one thing he felt that was that was needed, and that a lot of people needed, was that there should be a normal college in West Texas, in this region. Uh, the state did say finally it went through a little, you know, whatever negotiations or whatever. But they said what we're going to do is take bids. We're going to take bids from cities, whichever city might want the uh, the school, then of course, you know, it depended on how much money they, they're willing to give up. Canyon had a big meeting of all the people in Canyon, and they said, okay, if we want to get this college, we're going to have to bid a lot of money, and probably more than Amarillo is going to bid. Uh, so they do that. And it was, of course, that Canyon's going to offer the most. They offer $100,100, at least they pledge it. Right. Uh, at this time, they were not a four-year institution. Okay. They become a four-year institution in 1919, and that's when they start to get their first four-year diploma graduate. During World War II, uh, some people joked, well, you should change the name to the West Texas State College for Girls because, you know, there are only females here, or mainly females. Here, uh, after World War II, of course, with the GI Bill, the veterans uh, came in in such numbers that the there was not enough room for them. I mean, there were like veterans staying on cots in the gym. So, so uh, you know, they they got fed up with it, and they said we're going to go on strike. The veterans who are students here said we're going to go on strike. And of course, most people were sympathetic. Most of the other students were sympathetic to the veterans. So I said, yeah, let's go on strike. And so they shut down school for seven days in December of 1946. Uh, in 1951, Amarillo College uh, opened their doors to African Americans. WT is not going to quite be as fast as this. Uh, and going to try to remain segregated. Matthew Schiff, uh, Matthew Schiff in 1960. Yeah, and he's turned down on a couple of occasions, uh, and so he goes to the NAACP, and they file suit against WT. Now that didn't go over, <laughs> and they said, "Well, you got to desegregate." So they did do that.